Lemons. It's Phil's from the Blue Flame Apothecary. And I'm here today. <clears throat> it's a little bit of a different energy update than the last the last couple of have been. <laughs> last night as I was laying down in my pre-sleep meditation, I felt this really strong and urgent call that today we would talk about the blue flame itself again. It's been a while since the blue flame, this alchemical energy, has come into Warna Lee's frequency transmission energy updates in a in a conscious way. Um, it's always there. It runs through everything that I share with you. It runs through all of us and it runs through all, all. Um, it is in many ways the seed of life. And one of the ways that I was guided that we could move into this energy is through drawing a card for us from a deck called the Blue Messiah Oracle. Before we draw, <clears throat> before we, sorry, my throat chakra. <laughs> the blue flame is also very associated with the throat chakra. So as it's, as it's coming in, every once in a while you'll notice a little, ooh, making space, maybe, would be a good way to put it. Mm. Before we draw the card, it feels important to move into blue flame energy. The way we're gonna do this is starting with breath. There's that throat chakra again, right? <laughs> Prana is breath. Breathing in. And breathing in to your heart center. Not just your lungs, but all levels, layers, and dimensions, all aspects of your heart center. One of the ways in which we can access the blue flame is through breath and allowing ourselves to try and connect in and I say try because coming into the level of divine love that the blue flame is, represents, holds, is not natural to the 3D sort of conscious level of beingness. There is an innateness within us though that connects to this level of divine love we start to touch in on it when we feel into love of a child, when we are in that moment of ecstasy dancing or enjoying our favorite food, watching a hawk fly through the sky. Whatever it is that brings you to that moment of ecstasy. 
you start to kind of get a feel for what the the nature of this divine love that the blue flame represents is. So as you're breathing into your heart, you can let that breath expand the green light energy of your heart center and connect in and expand the pink light energy in your heart center. That like rose quartz sort of light. That's an unconditional love light. And as you connect in with this, you can start to feel and see, sense a beautiful blue within and also enveloping all around the green and the pink lights. And within this blue, there's a flame. Hmm. A beautiful flame. That first spark of light that is divine creation And now, connected in here to this beautiful, almost lapis or azurite blue flame, we can draw the card and see what, what spirit wants to let us know to transmit through this blue flame energy. Today I was called to this amazing piece of labradorite as we move into the blue flame oracle. This particular piece of labradorite has even more blue, almost more blue than I've ever seen in a piece of labradorite and it feels like amazing blue flame energy. also guided to a seat of life altar cloth. I don't know if you guys can see that really well from the camera angle. called to some ohms. <laughs> oh, I love this. Soul tribe. Mm. Gorgeous. There's this sense with this card coming in of a reminder. <clears throat> Yes, I know. 
that we are our soul tribe. That you feel called to this blue flame. You are innately wired to help birth this alchemical energy, this divine love onto the planet. There are many, many, many types of star seeds and many, many, many types of light workers on the planet right now. We're in a paradigm shift and all hands are on deck, so to speak. But there are a certain among of us, I have no idea how many, I wouldn't even pretend to know. <laughs> but there are some of us who have come down with a very specific rider in our soul contract is what I often call it. It's not the only thing we're here to do, but one part of what we signed up for is to help anchor the blue flame onto the earth plane because the earth plane is ready for this process to really begin now. You can feel into the idea of the violet flame. If you're looking for guidance on how to begin to work with this energy. You can feel how it took, you know, we, 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 we credit St. Germain with anchoring the violet flame. But it took all of the work that he did, all of the times that his consciousness came into incarnation and all of the people that he touched through that and all of the energy of all that was holding space for this to happen in order for it to actually anchor into the etheric dimensions of the earth plane. When you're talking about anchoring something as powerful as divine love onto the earth plane. It's all the preparation work that we've been doing for all of these eons. <laughs> Coming up to this point where we have these many beings, some in earthly human form, some in earthly animal form, some in tree form, some in all level of dimension and elemental forms that have come in and said, okay, we have aligned the world now. All, all of the cosmic and astrological forces have been lined up. All of the... <laughs> All of the earth event pieces have been lined up. And now we are hitting this point where regardless of all of the divergent timelines that you're seeing right now and the fact that the old is falling away, there is another timeline that is running Sometimes I, I liken it to a set of waves in the ocean. In a set of waves, there's the really big, and then there's the, the smaller. And in between, there's all different sizes and shapes of waves. So some of us are, are just riding, we're surfing that biggest wave. And some are in all different they're serving all the different ways. And wherever you pay attention, you know, that's your path, but you can, you can try and catch the next wave up. This is to say that all of them are reaching the shore. Every single wave is going to the exact same spot. It's just a matter of how you get there. And the exact same spot is this spot 
of the highest break and the 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 highest frequency. <sighs> mm. There is divine love in this highest timeline. And it, it feels like that's why it, this is what's coming in. <sighs> A lot of us can feel really alone riding that wave because so much of the population seems to be riding all of the other waves and a lot are riding that, that lower set. And this is where that soul tribe comes in. That, it feels like this is the whole reason I was called to talk about the blue flame and draw a card and sit here with us all today is as a reminder that you're not alone in this, in this work and this play that you're doing and you're loved and you're, there's so much gratitude in all planes of the universe for your yes in signing up to do this sometimes really difficult work. Wait, you need to cry, allow yourself to cry and grieve for all that's falling away. However, if possible, even in those moments of despair, try to find your way back in to the green light in your heart, to the pink light in your heart, the blue flame in your heart. And each time, in each moment, as you breathe in that life force, that prana, remember that you're held and that there's a whole community of all different sorts of beings holding space for you with so much love and gratitude for this monumental task that you said yes to. Hmm. So I'll be back in the next day or two with a more uh, astrologically based energy update. I'm, I've started opening the channel for the Cancer New Moon and serious soul conjunction. <laughs> we just had Venus and Elcyon conjunct overnight as Venus has entered Gemini now. <laughs> Divine love messenger. <laughs> I also facilitated a really beautiful supernova activation over the Solstice Eve in the Blue Flame Apothecary Members Portal. Um, you can find links below to join the, the portal and, and journey with us there. All kinds of frequency meditations and oracle readings and channeled apothecary goodies. I have a new herbal smoke that came through over the, uh, over the Gemini new moon. It's called Heart Journey. You can find that in the shop. It's skull cap and pink rose petal and mullein. It's amazing. It's really beautiful. I've been enjoying it quite a bit myself. I have my one-on-one -on -one sessions. If you feel called to journey in a more private and individualized way, um, with transmission activation going into various aspects of your natal chart and an oracle reading and meditations all kinds of stuff it's it's a really it's almost like having your akashic records read but in a in a different structured format that's kind of what it feels like it's the messages from your guides that i bring through 
Oh. But however you choose to journey, in whatever way you feel ca called and guided, <laughs> however it is that you work with this blue flame within you and are called to help fuel it, engage with it, anchor it. It is in all light. There's so much and many loves and gratitudes that I share any space and time and all space and time with you. <laughs> Thank you.